All right, so this is going to be a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and as well a uh, Rising. Monte Tarot reading February uh, 2020, a general one. And uh, in case any of you guys are interested into getting in touch with me for a, a personal reading, uh, you can check out the description down below and uh, there you are going to find a link to my website. So that being said, uh, this is going to be an eight card, uh, eight cards uh, tarot spread. And uh, the very first one, uh, which stands as the topic of our Scorpio month, that is going to be the Ace of Wands. Followed by the next one here, which represents the energies that are supporting the topic, we do have the Four of Wands. And um, for those who are for the first time here into the channel, um, I am Scorpio uh, and it looks quite exciting. I mean, it's, I may not look like that uh, that way, but quite optimistic with those two cards. It does look like that month of February is going to be full of surprises uh, for a Scorpio. So next one. Is going to be the challenges uh, that we need to overcome for throughout the month. We do have the tower card and yet more dynamic adds up here with this one. Followed by the uh, gifts and the blessings that we can enjoy throughout the month. That is to be the two of wands. And we do have a four fiery cards, guys. That is going to be an exploding month for us. Especially for those who are seeing no way through or no way out, okay? So next one here, it is how people are going to see us and uh, what kind of an impression we are going to give into people around. That is going to be the Nine of Cups, followed by the next one here, which is what is going to help our long-term goal or what is going to improve our personal circumstances. We have the King, the Knight, excuse me, of Swords, Next one here, it is what is going to hurt our long-term goal, goal and deteriorate our circumstances. That is to be the Ace of Swords. And the last one here, Scorpio, for us, it is the guidance that Taro is offering. We have the Seven of Cups. So, um, like I said, uh, this month, for what it seems, month of February, is going to be full of surprises, guys. And full of a very, how can I say it, enthusiastic, exhilarating and gaining for new enterprises that we can enjoy. And those enterprises are to jump from many different gazes and many different um, sides, like, you know, from many different uh, things around. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. I mean, um, what I mean is that you may have a gaining for enterprises career wise, gaining for enterprises uh, relationship wise, friendship wise and etc, etc. You know, it, it doesn't have to be only on one thing or um, in one direction here. And that is provoked by the energies we have, which is the Four of Wands. And those energies are kind of pointing that we have uh, literally done a, a great job, all right? Or whatever we are to take on under our wing here, it will be well finalized. So it's kind of highly unlikely that we are to miss anything along the way and that we are to overlook any important details in regards to our, our career or in regards to our relationship, which is going to give us the prerequisites here to finalize important cycles into our life. Giving you an example here, a cycle of being single, for example, and jump into the next one, which we are to be in a relationship, taking that we are to have a and gaining for enterprises, meaning that, you know, a, a very productive, new uh, a situation in between us a new suitor for example or maybe why not reviving the old one as well it all comes to that you know what you can make out of it instead of hoping that it will be gifted to us one way or another here with the four of ones it looks like that our personal efforts are going to give results instead of you know those results to be predet predetermined 
for us in one or the other way. Now with the Ace of Wands, however, uh, it is very important a uh, one not to be, how can I say it, preset or biased of what is to happen further down the road into the future. Because the opportunities with the Ace of Wands, they are um, vastly, how can I say it, unpredictable in a sense of that there are to be many things yet to be decided, yet to be desired and yet to be determined as well. And that's why those opportunities with uh, the Ace of Wands that comes around those, uh, those gaining for enterprises, they will require from us, you know, to, tr to thro thro throw ourselves a little bit into the deep here and kind of experience the things in a different way. Uh, show creative uh, creative chaos or creative impulses. Now this month is going to be fantastic month for expanding businesses, okay? This month is going to be a, a fantastic month for finding love as well. Or a, a month where you can expand on your current marriage or current relationship as well. In generally, that is a, a month of expansion for us in either of the fields we are finding um, valuable. If career, it is your boat, then be my guest and float it. But the thing is that once you identify where you want to grow and where you want to expand that, well, then you have to throw your maximum effort into that direction because once again, the Ace of Wands does require a, li a, bit, a little bit more devotion because you, we, Scorpio, have a, a lot to learn in order to maximize our success into that direction. Next one, it is the challenges that we will need to overcome here and that is to be the challenge of the Tower card. And this point that once we set sail toward our gaining full enterprise here, uh, things are to be a, a little bit overwhelming. And it is highly unlikely as well with the Tower card that at some point we are going to find ourselves struggling to figure the things out. And uh, many of uh, the uh, circumstances are going to prove themselves or appear themselves as a rather quite unpleasant, at least at the initial state. So uh, the only challenge that the Tower card here presents, it is the challenge of determination, if you will, that you are, once you set sail, you're determined to see the thing through because with the Tower, the building, the, the build-up of your building or of your life, I kind of prove itself a bit difficult, but at the end, you are going to be very happy what the building is all about or what you have been able to create. So the challenge it is all about shaking the foundation of creation, if you will, and uh, just risk the thing around, okay? I don't know how to describe it really. This, this is a challenge more about fear. It is kind of like going... Um, going along with and settling for less just because you know that it's going to be the easy way around instead of taking the gaining for enterprise which will ask you to be more devoted to take certain risks your creative your creative expression as well and yes you know that it's going to be damn difficult but also there are to be a bigger benefits so we have to uh, in the long run we have to or by a long shot here we will have to as a scorpio we'll have to set our foot outside of our comfort zone and uh, stop fearing you that things can go wrong okay they, they can go wrong even if we're not doing anything about it it's just bad things just happen okay and uh, this time around Scorpio uh, it looks like that we will have to just make peace with it and do the best we can now uh, with our like like said again with our new job new project that is going to be given to us depending on how the ace of wands is going to manifest for us but it's definitely this is a month of surprises and gaining for enterprises and only the fear of that we may actually do more uh, damage than actual good it is what can deprive us of being successful growing and expanding here so we have to slumber that fear uh, you can also take it that way that we just have to close our eyes and make a step forward it is all that is needed here 
So gifts and the blessings, uh, that will be the two of wands in that particular case not much to be said about the cards here this is the gift of expansion i already said it with the ace of wands basically what the card points that our uh, natural unfoldment is gifted to us so if we are good at uh, being a um, a decent company we will become exceptional company to someone if we are liked by someone we are going to become loved by that but by that same person so our traits are to amplify throughout this month this is to be our gift and blessing here and that's why we have to start thinking a big and things we haven't dared to even dream about well, this time around in the month of February, we actually can set our foot into that uh, into that direction. Next one, it is how people are going to see us and what kind of an impression we are going to leave into people. Now, that is to be the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups is putting uh, an impression that we are very well situated and satisfied person okay as a matter of fact people around us are gonna see us as a individuals that are finally or for once are having what they need to make their life fulfilled so people were seeing you love people were seeing you happy people were seeing you emotionally stable people were seeing you content as well exhilarated and in some extreme cases we can say as well in ecstasy now however uh, from another standpoint people are to see us a bit cocky it is because people will kind of like uh, the people around us will have that opinion that we have to do something about to sustain this um, tremendous luck we are going to have throughout the month of a february okay and to grasp on the um on the way out that it is given to us because for some of us Scorpio that could be a way out as well and if I have to give you an, an example here say you have a business that business isn't doing very well at all and in the month of February BAM you have the gaining for enterprise a, a big consortium a big company comes to uh, have you as a contractor okay one time job but with the nine of cups here of how people see you, this is like a trial for you, okay? If you do your job right and if you do an exceptional uh, performance here, this one-time job will transfer into a, a long-term contract, all right? So that, that's why people are going to see us as, 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 a, as someone who is kind of like enjoying their good status and their good luck right now. And they're going to have the opinion that we have to be more uh, serious about sustaining it, securing that position so we can transform it into something a long lasting. Now, next one, it is what is going to help us throughout the month, what is going to help our long-term goal and what is going to improve our personal circumstances. We do have a person here that is going to be the Knight of Swords and uh, that person, uh, it's kind of like they almost does not influence us and that is the beauty of this position it is because um how can i say it their imp their impact upon our month is going to be rather minimum so that is uh, that's that alone is a testament that we are on the right track here but uh Taking on the card, the Knight of Swords kind of points that there are to be there there is to be a person a person around us who is going to validate the righteousness and the truthfulness about our actions that we are anticipating of taking throughout the month throughout the month of getting the uh, gaining for enter that gaining for enterprises in these um, enterprises and these uh, surprises in general that are happening uh, into our life uh, so uh, that is someone who is going to uh, cheer for us uh, sincerely and also it is someone who is going to recognize the true value of um, of our potential but not because they have something to offer us in return but because they can encourage us to just you know proceed forward without paying attention to what can be lost because the knights of one the knights of swords they are um, um, truth seekers and when you seek the truth as they do 
many things can be lost, especially the fallacies. Okay, so that is someone who will make us aware of our true potential through a taunting us, okay? And not just only taunting us, but as well simultaneously taunting and encouraging us to take the rough, the rough steps. Because as we saw with the tower card, at least the very initial momentum is gonna be rather difficult. Uh, for one or another reason, mainly the reason is going to be it is because we are going to take it like we are risking way too much, okay? And so next one, it is uh, what is going to um, deprive us of, su of success or kind of like what is going to hurt our long-term goal, uh, what is going to uh, deteriorate our circumstances. We do have the Ace of Swords, and that baffles me here into this uh, into this position, because the Ace of Swords, uh, it's it's a card about having the right diagnosis and knowing the true nature of the environment, the true nature of the uh, the enterprise that it is in front of us. In this case, the Ace of Wands. All right, so we have that luck on our side. We do have our uh, our goal signal here, and we think we know it. We know it all. We think we know all the circumstances that are surrounding this opportunity of ours. Unfortunately, we don't. So this is what, to me, the Ace of Swords here points. It is that what we think it what. Or that's um, we kind of like um, how to how to describe it. It's like we think that we know where that is going to lead us and how everything is going to play out, but we don't. So that's why, especially with the ones cards and with the fiery cards in general, uh, it is uh, the the growth is through a a trial and error, uh, which is very uncommon with the swords cards. Okay, so uh, that is what why it's important here. Even if there is a, a shred of a um, of a chance for us to grow in one or another way, career or relationship, we have to take it, even if it seems that it is something that is gonna do more harm than actual good. Because with the ones cards, there is also one other trait here, and that is that we can pull ourselves of it if we see that it is it really does more harm than uh, than good. So we are not gonna go beyond um, the point of no return in one way or another. And the last card, it is the guidance the Tarot is offering, and that will be the Seven of uh, Cups. I love this card, literally into this position, because guidance-wise, Seven of Cups says that our dreams, you know, are as a mother's dreams for her children. Uh, and what are mother's dreams for her children? They are either fantasies or seeds growing, but that's the thing yet remains to be of knowing, okay? So we we kind of like, what that kind of tells me in this reading, guys, it is that we have set our barriers and we are now bouncing from that barriers backwards. The thing is that our capabilities and limits are going beyond the barriers that we have set for ourselves. So we do have self-imposed restrictions that they have to fall in the month of February. And that will happen through the gaining for enterprise that we will have to take um, as a option available. So that being said, Scorpio, this was our uh, monthly tarot reading, February, 2020. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys. And uh, we are gonna see each other next time. Until then, bye.